Welcome to Coding Droplets, your ultimate guide to master .NET applications. This video is part of our ongoing tutorial series on .NET Mavoi. In this fifth video of .NET Mavoi tutorial series, we'll focus on two essential controls, the .NET Mavoi carousel view and indicator view. Get ready to unlock the true potential of data presentation as we explore these powerful tools. Don't forget to check the video description for the playlist link where you can find all the previous videos in this series. Let's dive right in and discover the exciting world of .NET Mavoi data presentation. Initially, let us explore how to work with the carousel view control in .NET Mavoi. Mavoi carousel view is a powerful control that allows you to present data in a scrollable layout, where users can swipe to move through a collection of items. Along the way, We'll also cover some of the basic features of carousel view, including how to use the indicator view to show which item is currently selected. I have created a new .NET Mavoi app project with the name Mavoi Collection Controls. First, let's create a new folder named Pages inside the project. Within this folder, we'll create a content page named Carousel View Demo. By default, this page will have a label, which we don't need, in order to make this a main page, we'll assign it in the app.xaml.cs class. To format the title of the new page, we'll make use the title property. Now let's add a carousel view to the content page. We'll place the carousel view inside a vertical stack layout. Next, we'll make use of the item source property of the carousel view to provide the items to be displayed. We'll need to provide an array of objects to the item source property. Here we'll provide an array of strings. To do this, we'll use the following syntax x colon array type equals x colon type space x string. Inside this array, we can provide multiple strings. For this example, let's have 5 strings in total. The first string will be item 1. Let's copy and paste the string for the remaining 4 items and change the string value for each to be item 2, item 3, item 4, and item 5. Now let's run the project in the emulator to see how it looks. In the emulator, you can see the items are placed horizontally. We can scroll horizontally to view each item. Now let's explore how we can modify the appearance of the carousel view. To achieve this, we can use the carousel view dot item template property. By opening a data template, we can define the structure of each item within the carousel view. Inside the data template, I am adding a vertical stack layout. This layout will serve as the container of our item. To enhance its visual appeal, I'll apply a background color and padding to the vertical stack layout. Moving on, I am placing a label inside the vertical stack layout. This label will be responsible for displaying the data for each item. To ensure a clean and consistent look, I'll format the label accordingly. Now let's assign the text property of the label. Here comes the interesting part, binding data to an element in .NET Mavoi. By enclosing the desired property within curly braces and using the binding keyword, we can establish a binding. Since we are working with a string array, we need to bind the item itself. To achieve this, we can simply provide a dot simple. With the modifications in place, Let's run the project in the emulator and observe the changes. As you can see, the string is now displayed within the label and we can easily scroll left or right to view other items in the carousel view. Moving on, let's explore the indicator view control in .NET Mavoi. Mavoi indicator view control is designed to display indicators that represent the number of items and the current position within a carousel view. To begin, let's provide a name for the indicator view control. We'll name it indicator view. Additionally, we can assign some margin to ensure proper spacing. Next, we need to establish the connection between the indicator view and a carousel view. Fortunately, carousel view provides a property called indicator view, where we can specify the name of our indicator view control. With everything set up, let's run the application and witness the indicator view in action. As you can see, the indicator view is displayed 
and as I scroll the carousel view, the indicator view accurately reflects the current position. To further enhance the visual presentation, let's align the indicator view to horizontal center, ensuring a balanced appearance. Now the indicator view is perfectly displayed at the center. In addition to position, we have the flexibility to customize the colors of the indicator dots. First, let's modify the indicator color to green. When we run the application in the emulator, you'll notice the indicator dots are now displayed in a pleasant green color. Furthermore, we can change the color of the currently selected indicator. By using the selected indicator color property, we can set it to red. You'll see that the selected indicator is now highlighted in a vibrant red color, providing a clear visual distinction. By leveraging these customization options, we can effortlessly enhance the appearance of indicator view and tailor it to our specific design requirements. Next, let's see how we can assign the item source property of the carousel view from C Sharp code and explore how to use complex objects in the item source property. Before we proceed, let's remove the item source section we mentioned in the XAML file. To begin, I'm creating a new folder named models within our project and adding a new class named collection item in this folder. In the collection item class, I'm including a string property named title and another string property named description. We'll display these two values within the carousel view. Moving on, in our content page class, within the constructor, I'm creating a list of collection items. The first item in the list has the title value as coding droplets and the description as welcome to coding droplets. I'm copying and pasting these objects to have a total of five items, making sure to change the numbers to differentiate them. Let's also assign a name for the carousel view so that we can access the control from the C-sharp code. Then I'm assigning the item source property within the code. However, when we run this code, we encounter an issue, a null reference exception. This occurs because we are trying to assign the item source property of the carousel view before it is initialized. To resolve this issue, we need to move the code below the initialize component method. By doing so, we ensure that the carousel view is properly initialized before attempting to access it. Now let's try running the application. However, we encounter another issue. The carousel view displays the name of the model object instead of the desired properties. To address this, we need to provide the proper binding in the item template. Within the label text property, I am changing the binding to title, which corresponds to the first property in our model class, collection item. Additionally, we want to display the description, so I am adding another label and modifying its font size and font attributes accordingly. We can then assign the binding for the description, which is the second property of our model class. Now let's run the application and see how it appears. You can observe the carousel view shows both the title and description. Specifically, it currently displays coding droplets as the title and welcome to coding droplets as the description. We can scroll through the carousel view to view the other items and all the items are being displayed correctly. With this, we have successfully covered the usage of carousel view and indicator view controls. I hope you now have a clear understanding of how to work with these controls and incorporate them into your .NET Maui applications. Congratulations on completing this chapter of our .NET Maui tutorial series. We hope you found the exploration of .NET Maui carousel view and indicator view enlightening and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative tutorials on .NET Maui and other cutting edge technologies. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive into fascinating world of .NET Maui list view control. Keep coding and keep exploring.